LG. How many people have asked already that we take the B on a road trip to Ohio? But more in particular, this place. Everybody and their mother. Well, we're delivering. Here we are. Dang, they're empty today. That's good. They saved the place for me and all the food for me. Their lobby is still closed, though. Son of a gun. That's okay. That's fine. Whatever. They're afraid to open because they know I would ramsack the place. Look at all the people working in there hard. That's great. I love their racks hats. I want one of their racks hats, but I want it off one of the guys building my sandwich. I want it with like all this like sweat on it and everything. You're gross. Yeah, it's all right. I'll be sweating all over that hat. I'll put it right on my head. I don't care. It'll, it'll be rack sweat. Why don't you like apply for a job here and then work like one day and then like leave and then get, just get the hat. Get the yourself. uniform. Yeah. Because then I probably wouldn't be allowed to come back. I'm surprised I'm allowed to come back now anyway. Honestly. But. I am so hungry. I have eaten all day. Good. I'm glad you finally ordered all your own food this time so you can leave mine alone. <laughs> You're mean to me. You forced me to drive all the way out here. Not that I complained. Ketchup, barbecue, horseradish. Uh, ketchup, please. Oh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful racks. What the hell is this? Damn it, take me to the store. I ain't eating this crap. What the hell happened to Heinz? They used to have Heinz. Now, what the hell is it? That's what they put fries in now. Boy, they're in trouble. They're, they're in big trouble, because look at that. I don't even get a Rax cup. I get a generic Coke cup. That sounded quit, horrible. Quit your bitching and eat. All right, mother. I'm so ready to eat. I'm yeah. triple decking it today. Look at that. I don't care if one is yours. It's mine now. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine. You held me at gunpoint to come all the way out here. Oh, yeah, I sure did. Not that I was complaining, though. We're going to Rax or else. I was like, yes, that's right. Or else. The bread. Like, I like the, like, little seasoning they put in the bread, if you guys can see it. No! Stop! <laughs> I'm trying to show everybody. <laughs> that's all right. You can show them I'm eating. <laughs> no! It almost fell on the floor. Even if it fell in the garbage, you would still eat it. Mm-hmm. Because that would be food abuse. God, that's so good. I'm sorry I asked for ketchup, though. I ain't eating that crap. That looked like something they got out of the creek. Mmm. Well, Christmas came early. That's for sure. It's so good. And it's touching to bring the king the king's car here. Nate himself. We brought his bee friend here. As so many people for some reason asked, but I wasn't going to turn it down. I wasn't going to complain. But yes, we did bring the bee friend here that made him so famous. So I'm going to try... Which is awesome. So I'm about to try some of this fancy tomato ketchup. Good luck. With my fries. Luck. It's called Brickman's Fancy Tomato Ketchup. Brickman. So. More like Brickman's. You don't know that. <laughs> oh, I know. Negative right. Nancy. All right, so just so you guys know, I'm not making Putrid it up. Putrid Paul. Shut up. Yes, Here's dear. my fry with ketchup on it. I'll make him eat it. The one time I turned it down is because you put that filth on it. It's actually pretty good. No, it's not pretty good. You don't know until you try it. This is pretty good. That is a damn good sandwich, but what happened to their racks cups? I don't even get to get any souvenirs to take home. Mm. At least I have my rack shirt. Because people like you steal all the cups. Mm -hmm. That's why they did a good generic cup. Just like that metal show we were at a couple nights ago, seeing Dying Fetus. I ought to take that rack shirt in there and see if they'll all autograph it for me. They'll be like, why does this guy want us to sign a rack shirt? Because this place is awesome, just like that band is and terror and vitriol good luck getting in there 
they're gonna be real disappointed. Yeah, trying to take my food, get back in your car, and drive away. They're gonna be real disappointed. Get back in the car. Ha ha, that's, that's totally right, not. goodbye. That worked out in your favor. Yes, it did. Oh, don't be going in the drive-thru, that's my drive-thru. It's closed, just like the lobby. It's only open for us, well, for me. How the hell do you put that blasphemy on your on your sandwich? I'm not putting on my sandwich, put on my fries. And oh, doesn't matter, fries or sandwich. It's good. You need to open okay. your mind. Mm-hmm. Look at that. They went right in that drive-thru. They're ordering all my food. Son of a gun, man. Look, he's walking across the street with racks. Maybe we should move across the street from racks. Yeah, we should. Because I'll be here every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He's going in his house. Quick, go in. we got to go in that house and rob him. He doesn't need to be eating my food. Boy, that sounded really bad. Boy, way to put me in jail saying we're going to rob the guy. We're not robbing him of money. Just my food. And I'll leave him a 20 on the counter. Mm -hmm. Say, go get yourself some food somewhere else. You don't need to get it here. It's mine. What if he ordered something you absolutely hate? I'll still eat it. A salad? If it's you're from allergic, racks, I'll still eat it. We know you're allergic to salad. I am, but if it's from racks, I'll still eat it. I'll force feed myself. So how are you allergic to salads? Because if they come from racks, you're not. That's that's like it, it's almost like mm. you pick and choose what you want to eat and don't. I do. And with racks it's okay. God. That's pretty good, all that cheese, man. I feel my arteries clogging up pretty good. And this ketchup makes me feel really nice. Yuck. Because it's actually good ketchup. Yuck. It is. I'll tell you what. If this is the reason, like, I have a heart attack and I go on my deathbed and, they, and like, I'm ready to die, and they say, what would you like? I'll be like, I got a list all prepared, Bojangles, Racks, Chewies, a trip to Boscov's and Meyer. And Guam Kmart, and I'm just kidding on that place because we all know Kmart sucks these days. But it's not their fault. It's uh, that Ben showed Eddie Lambert. But anyway, let's let's not talk about something that makes me upset. Let's talk about something that makes me happy. And something that makes me happy is delicious roast beef from the best roast beef restaurant out there. Even though they closed 97.6% of all their restaurants, and now you got to get three hours to go to one, and then three hours back. To Pittsburgh, where all we have is McDonald's, Sheets, Subway, Burger King, and that's about it. Taco Bell. Yeah, and you go down to Texas, you got everything Whataburger, Chewy's, uh, Rosa's Cafe, Shep's. What else do you have out there? Schlotzky's. I don't get the whole deal over the whole Schlotzky's thing, but whatever, it's pretty good food. And you're getting Bojangles down there too, damn it. But nothing comes to Pittsburgh, because everybody hates Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. For whatever reason. How the hell am I supposed to eat these? Where did they pick these up from? Where the hell did they even get the bags from? It's different. They rob, like, their local shop and save. Do they even have shop and save out here? Probably not, but there's Kroger. Kroger. It's better I... than shop and save. Anything is. Mm hmm I don't even care if these are cold. They're good. No. No, go away. Don't look at me like that. Go somewhere else. Look at that car's going back through the driveway a second time. Yeah, what the hell are you doing? Oh, no, they're turning. Go, yeah, that's right. Go away. They forgot to drop their food off at, at, at the car. There should be a big sign that we put on the front of the B. We gladly accept racks donations. It's not a bad idea, actually. I wonder how many people would do that. I bet zero. Mm -hmm. Watch, you'll get a donation. It'll be something like a salad. It's fine, or it'll be McDonald's nuggets. I'll say, blah. Best I can do is Arby's. I don't want Arby's. Arby's is so overrated, honestly. Every time I've eaten there, I've gotten sick, too. Every time I see one, I get sick. Because they're the reason why they knocked so many of these out of business. And what the hell are most racks nowadays? Little Chinese buffets, nail salons, the law office of Dumbo and Dumbo. I don't know. I don't even care if it's the twins from Pittsburgh. It's Dumbo and Dumbo's law office. You take over a racks. 
hiding some roast beef in the back. We've seen several racks get converted into Arby's, which is kind of weird. That's a slap on the face. Want one of my fries? Yes. Huh, well, you have your own. Just kidding. <laughs> Ow, you bit my finger. <laughs> I couldn't even keep it together for that one. You bit my finger. That's all right. You'd steal my food all the time. One bite. Like, not even enough to be noticeable. Damn. Um, If I can recall, about a month ago, we were at Bojangles, and someone was scooping my pimento cheese like you were driving an excavator. It fell onto your napkin, and I wasn't going to waste it, and you didn't care. I did care because I would have sucked it off the napkin like I was a vacuum cleaner. Why didn't you do anything when it first fell? Because I tried to and you already swooped in like a hawk. Well, you got to, you know what they say, keep your eyes on your surroundings at all times. I told you that at the Dying Fetus concert and what happens, you still get booted in the shoulder from and a bruised, crowd surfer. And bruised on the... And I tried to protect you. I did a damn well good job of protecting you, except for that one boot, because that dude came out of nowhere. He magically he appeared on stage, and then all of a sudden it was like Superman all over us. And, geez, well, I don't even do know what the a, hell that has to do with this place. You didn't do a very good job at uh, protecting all these cars from going in the drive-thru. I know. I need to park right at the entrance there. Like a bodyguard. Yeah. Cones up. Are those cops coming for me? Okay, good, good. Every time I come out here, I wonder when I'm gonna get arrested for making a scene at Rax. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta finish Aunt Edna's re-fried French fries here that she made like in her 1980s little deep fryer that somehow still works and even though it has the same grease in there after all these years. I'll eat this too, I don't care. Now look at this little sandwich, isn't that cute? Although I, I didn't order turkey. It says DLX Racks. What the hell is DLX? Deluxe Racks? I don't know. Oh, look how cute that is. It looks like something that got hammered. That thing looks flatter than hammer doo doo. Damn, son. Why are you roasting racks? You love racks. I do, it's supposed but. To be perfect. Then how come Just this doesn't look perfect? Okay. Just eat it. Eat it. Everything will be fine. Mm-hmm. It's what's on the inside that counts. How is your tummy feeling? Feels pretty good. I just need to eat the body of Christ. Amen. That was the biggest bite I think I've ever seen someone take of a sandwich before. Now I'll show you a big bite. You want to see a big bite? Okay. I think she's, oh crap, she's like dialing, I think she's dialing 911 on her phone. <clears throat> oh man. Wow, I definitely feel my arteries clogging after that one. Who chose to eat two sandwiches? Me. Well, you want to start making shots at me taking big bites of the body of Christ. I ate his entire body in one shot. Well, most of it, because I had two little sneak peeks with a couple of bites there. Now I need to go and get another one since that was a waste of a sandwich. I couldn't enjoy it. Well, I think the manager is coming outside telling you to leave. The hell with them. You can't kick your number one customer out. That's right. Hold on. How much money do I have in my wallet here? Let's see. 40, 55, no, $59 here in my wallet. No, you miscounted that. No, I didn't. Here. I know you're trying to get me to leave. Can you just get me like four sandwiches and just keep the rest for yourself? Yeah, thank you. All right, see you in a few minutes. The son of a gun's calling 911. Dude, damn, man. Okay, everybody, jokes aside, I know we have to start making these disclaimers in these videos because sometimes people can't take a joke these days. Yeah, but... like what is wrong with you people? It's obvious, it's evident that we are just being funny you know we're trying to be funny anyway we might not be but we're trying 
we love each other we care about each mm -hmm. other we are not mean to each other in real life he's nice to me i'm nice to him oh you, well, are you sure you serious about that sometimes no anyway though we do we just joke we we do these to get you to laugh and hopefully they do if they don't well i'm sorry about else. that yeah watch something else i guess some people can't take a joke though but anyway i hope you did enjoy and i love coming out here and you know I know a lot of people did ask if we would bring the bee friend out here. I don't know and why they were so concerned, but... I don't know, but I wasn't going to turn that down. Yeah. I was like, hell yeah, I'll come out here. I just wish they had Rax cups because I wanted to give these away as Christmas gifts. But these these are the same cups you can get at Permani Brothers. At the one in the Strip District, but whatever. The Coke still tastes good. And all that cheese that's still in the back of my throat lodged in there with the uh, roast beef... Well, tastes good and it, I shouldn't even drink any more of this because I'll wash it down. I want that taste to stay there for the rest I, of the day. When I went inside of um, the restaurant to use the bathroom, the one manager said, oh, we do have Rax Cups. We just didn't want to give him any because he's weird. Wait, how the hell did you get in there? I just used my magic. So you're telling me you can go in there, but I can't? You can go and use the bathroom. I'll dive right through that little drive through window and get in there. I'll be like, what's up, boys and girls? Hey, everybody. And when, I'll just wear the rack shirt. I have it right here for crying out loud. Now I just need to get a thumbnail with the car at racks because that's what people wanted me to do, too. So let's do it. Where's this guy walking to? He thinks he's walking through the drive through Uh-uh. It's probably... I'm watching you. Ollie's probably going home. That's you right. Walk over there. It. Yeah. No. no, he's making that left hand turn to the drive through. Damn it. We're just joking. He, he is going through the drive through. Anyway, no, we're just joking. But why? Why won't you open your doors, Rax? We just want to come inside and eat and check out the museum that it is, even though it's just a fast food joint. What are you laughing about? Nothing. You're laughing at something. Nothing. What? Nothing. I just want to come inside you and eat, Rax. I do. What's wrong with that? Oh my god, that that sounded horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> that did not sounds i can't talk I, I can't think my arteries are clogging up and my heart rate's getting a hell of a lot faster from wolfing down a whole sandwich in one bite i'll well, do it again i'll go get another one all right everybody we're gonna take off don't go through that drive-thru go somewhere else hey i got here all excited because i saw one car two cars here and it's the employee's cars and huh, I, he's getting out of his car he's gonna walk in and, ha, ha, oh is he going to make some sandwiches okay good make, uh, making them for me mm-hmm Let's see if he's wearing a uniform. I will be. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, I feel I feel pretty uh, sad that I have to make the disclaimer that this is for comedy purposes only. That's all it is. We're just doing this for fun. But we did want to go to Rax, and like I said, people wanted us to take the B, the very car that Nate owned and brought out here that made him famous and everything and you know i don't care about that part you know i'm happy for him i'm happy for the success that he's had i'm not looking to do all that we wanted to come out here for fun and i love their food and we love taking this on the big road trips mm -hmm. and giving our z24 a break because i feel like i have to mention this in every video too we still own the z yes we still have the z please guys yeah we drive it videos. yeah we drive it a few times a week still we alternate during the work week like i'll take it out a couple of days take this a couple of days whatever and uh, but it's just fun you know the the thrill of having a new to us car you know it's fun to take it out and give our other car a much needed break after driving it daily and putting so many miles on it but you know it's fun we have a good time and we hope you enjoy the videos but we are going to take off we have other places we want to go to today so thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Stay awesome. Have a Rack's Roast Beef delicious day. And we'll see you later. I like how you did that with the whole roast beef thing. Yeah. That was cool. What did you want me to say? Have a Rack's Sushi Bar delicious day. Well, they did have a salad bar back in the day. They might have had sushi because these people had an identity crisis their whole lives, which is probably they, why. Go go somewhere else. You don't have to go through this drive through If they had sushi. Oh, that's a cop, too. Oh, shit. We are screwed. Time to leave. If they had sushi on the salad bar, 
I would not trust that sushi. I wouldn't either, but we do need to go because that was an actual cop. All right, see you later. Bye. Bye. Just joking. We're good. <laughs> but I need to go because I actually need to run to the restroom and... You were just in there, you say. No, I wasn't in there. I was just saying that to get you all wound up. Well, it worked. All right, well, I gotta go to the bathroom. Bye. I feel like Squidward when he has, like, sand in his eyes. <laughs> You're gonna have sand somewhere else soon. Where? Where? I'll let you figure that one out. Up my ass. I get it. All right. We love you all. Thanks for watching, everybody. We don't love all of you. Just kidding. We do. We, we do. most of you. Mean. Mean? Most of you. What? We love most of you. Maybe you... I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. But thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Support your local racks. Exactly. That's what you got Even do. though there's only three of them left. Support your local racks, everybody. Yes. We'll see you later. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Are there really three left? Yeah. Sadly. Really? Open some more. I three there were three four. or five. Oh, no. There's three in Ohio. Yeah. There might be five left. I, I don't like, know. Isn't there one in Illinois and Kentucky? I know Illinois, but I don't know about Kentucky. But... At least Kentucky is close to Texas, so mm -hmm. our Texas friends can go get some. That's right. All right. We're seriously out this time. Love you all. Bye. Stay awesome. Bye. Love you. Stay awesome. Have a rack sushi bar. Let's just stay. I threw you off big time. Yeah. You went from smiling to going like, ooh. That's okay. I'm going to go get more racks when we sign off. See you later. Bye. For Bye. real. <laughs>